so uh, we are going to discuss about the rivers in india so in india it is considered a land of rivers as there are the numerous rivers flowing through and fro across the country so there are a lot of rivers in india the river in india has been divided into two himalayan rivers okay the river that is origin originated from the himalayas that is known as himalayan rivers and which is uh, originated in the peninsula that is known as peninsular rivers there are two types okay one is himalayan river and next one is peninsula river so these are the rivers this is the map of india first of all we have to remember this map where the rivers are present then we can uh, answer the M mcqs in easy way whether they ask in descending order or ascending order or out of the board out of the india map these questions uh, uh, will come in competitive exams like which one is towards the west side south side north side east side these questions will come so if we know the proper map then we can easily answer that type of questions so first of all here there is out of the map this is out of the india map uh, the brahmaputra is present here the out indus ravi chenab is upside satluj also upside ganga is somewhat east side yamuna in the middle narmada tapti it is at um, west side godavari krishna and kaveri kaveri is in south south side so here the arabian sea bay of bengal indian ocean these are the rivers we are present in the map like ganga godavari yamuna narmada krishna brahmaputra mahanadi so here there is a mahanadi kaveri tapti satluj hindus chamur so these are the rivers which are present in india map okay so first of all we are going to discuss about the ganga river so it is the longest river in india so it is also the largest river of india it is worshiped by indus as goddess ganga so it is also known as a uh, goddess ganga uh, some of the prominent cities that are flanked by the river includes varanasi harid um, haridwar kanpur alhabad patna these all the cities will cross through the ganga river so the longest river of ganga is ganga so the kilometers are 2525 kilometers so that's why it's the largest so see here here the ganga is ganga is there in this place the ganga river will be present next one next one godavari godavari is 1465 kilometers it is the second longest river in india which forms one of the largest river basin in the world in the world it is uh, one of the largest but uh, in india it is the second longest so here it is the longest river in south india and properly known as dakshina ganga so this uh, here in mcqs they will also ask what is another name of godavari that is a dakshina ganga so here the one of the mcq we can we have covered it originates in the western ghats near the trimba trimbakeshwar in maharashtra so it is near the maharashtra so see here here the godavari is present see here the maharashtra so near the maharashtra the godavari is present towards the west side okay west side so this is all about the godavari that is the second and the, the kilometers is also important the 1465 and is also known as dakshina ganga next one yamuna here the 1376 kilometers it is also known as jamuna we have to know the another names also where it is uh, easily asked in mcqs it is originated from the yamunotri glacier in the highest part of lower himalayas in uttar uttarakhand so see here where the uttarakhand is present here the uttarakhand is present the major cities which the river flows is like uttarakhand here the uttarakhand is there delhi here the delhi himachal pradesh so here the himachal haryana here the haryana and here the uttar pradesh so where the yamuna this is the yamuna see this is the yamuna it is surrounded by this all the cities where the yamuna flows the upside okay north side okay 
next one narmada so here the narmada is uh, 1312 kilometers it's the largest river of peninsular india so uh, this is the largest of peninsular india it originates in the american range of ma mountains in Madhya Pradesh so here it is the Madhya Pradesh uh, where the Narmada here the Narmada it is oriented from the ma Madhya Pradesh so the river transfers the course of 13 12 kilometers where it pass across the state of Madhya Pradesh here the Madhya Pradesh is there next one Maharashtra next Gujarat so see the flow of the Narmada is from Madhya Pradesh Maharashtra and Gujarat towards the uh, which side west side okay so it eventually falls and merged into the arabian sea see here this is the arabian sea it is also considered one of the holiest river by the indus and is worshipped as a goddesses so this is also uh, hindus will worshipped as a goddess narmada so it is supposed the rich wildlife and is the origin of several waterfalls so this is also the origin of several waterfalls so this is the narmada next one krishna the krishna river is a 1300 kilometers krishna is the fourth longest river in the india and the major source of irrigation okay this is important and other water utilities in the southern states of the country so here the krishna river see in the map this is at the south part so krishna river is flowing like this from south to east so southern state of the country the river originates in Mahabaleshwar and the Delta is uh, one of the most fertile in the region other than supporting rich wildlife it is supporting the wildlife also because of the water several dams built across the river in the different cities why because it also generates the electricity and provide the water for drinking and irrigation process so here there are four concepts one is wildlife one is uh, uh, making the dams drinking water electricity so irrigation so see here there is a Krishna and the downward sides towards the south okay next Brahmaputra which is present outside the map of India here it is a Brahmaputra so popularly known as a lifeline of Assam so here this is the Assam it is a lifeline of Assam so Brahmaputra is one of the most important regions in the rivers in the region it originates in the Anxi glacier and is one of the most important source of transportation in the street so the water from the river is also used for irrigation so this is also used for irrigation for crops growing the river enter from Arunachal Pradesh where is Arunachal Pradesh is present here okay this is Assam this is Arunachal Pradesh and um, at uh, uh, and after transferring across different cities and states it leave through Bangladesh where is the Bangladesh this is a Bangladesh and China it was leaving these Hamaputra it starts from Arunachal, Assam, Bangladesh and also Chennai. So this is all about the Brahmaputra. Here they will ask the MCQ like um, which is which river is outside the India? Means outside the border of India means that is the Brahmaputra. So they can also ask uh, where it leaves through, means Bangladesh and China. Okay. Next one Maharadi. See here the Maharadi is there towards the east side so here the 858 kilometers Maharadi river originates in the mountain streams of eastern ghats situated in the dhamtari district of chandisgarh the world is world's largest eastern dam called as hirakhan dam is also built on this river here are the options they will ask in mcqs like which river is presented on Maharadi river so which dam is present uh, on Mahanadi river means that is a Himakan dam so after the Chandigarh it flows through Orissa and eventually merge in Bay of Bengal see this is Orissa here here this side the, the Bay of Bengal okay um, it was not come in this map but here the Mahanadi see here the Chhattisgarh this is the Orissa here the side out of this border there will be the Bay of Bengal okay down side okay next one kaveri kaveri uh, it is all about 800 kilometers it is the uh, one of the holiest river in south india which form the two points island of sri ranga patna and shivana Samud shivana samudra so it originates near the kodagu in karnataka okay this is also important which is 
in Karnataka and in the foothills of Western Ghats and run to Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. So see here, this is the Karnataka and here the Tamil Nadu. Here there will be the Kaveri. This is a Kaveri. The spelling is C A U. Okay, this is a Kaveri where it is present Karnataka and the Tamil Nadu and it provide the water for drinking, irrigation and other purposes also. Next one, Tapti. It is a 700 to 40 24 kilometers Tapti river is one of the only three rivers that originates in originates in peninsula india and that run from east to west so see here here east to west from east to west it flows so it is towards the west side Tapti. okay the, this is also an mcq which river is flows towards the West assignments stop the okay. The in this Betul district and drain off into the Arabian Sea through the Gulf of Kambat. It runs through Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Gujarat, and has six tributaries. So, see here it is present in the middle. So, here Madhya Pradesh, M for Maharashtra, and here the Gujarat. Okay, so here the uh, it is uh, supports the rich wildlife and Melghat forest and consider holy and the sacred by the Indus. Yeah. Hindus sorry next one satellite satellite is the easternmost see here it is a satellite it is the east side easternmost tributary of the Indus river so here the Indus river towards the Indus river it is also outside so it originates in the lake uh, Raj Rakshatal in Tibet and flows through Himachal Pradesh before entering the Punjab. But it flows into the Himachal Pradesh. See here, here it is the Himachal Pradesh before entering into the before it entering into the Punjab. See, this is the Punjab. Before entering into the Punjab, first it flows to Himachal Pradesh. Okay, it is a numerous hydroelectric plant on the river that is used to generate electricity. There is uh, some plant uh, which generates electricity and eventually enters into the Pakistan, here the Pakistan and joined with Chenab, uh, okay, Chenab is upside and then merge with Indus. So here see first of all Himachal Pradesh, satellite from Himachal Pradesh before entering into the Punjab, there will also be a plan, then it flows to Pakistan and to Chenab, okay, this is the concept of satellite. Next one, Indus. Indus river holds a great historical, historical and mythical significance for India. So it is the birthplace of Indus Valley civilization and the country name India is derived from the same. Okay. The river starts its journey from the Tibetan plateau of the Kailash mountain range. It flows through Kadak, Kadak and enter Pakistan. Some of the tributaries of Indus river include Kabul, Jhelum, Chenab, Ravi, bees and satellite etc so here there is a indus see here the satellite the pakistan here the ladakh okay this all are including here only so this is all about the indus chambal so see here it is a chambal he is present here in the middle it is a tributary of yamuna river okay this is a tributary why because see here here is the yamuna which is near to Chambul. Okay, it originates in the Vindhya range in Indore in Madhya Pradesh. So here the Madhya Pradesh is there and run across the uh, three states like Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, see Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan. Here it is. Uh, oh, sorry, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh. Here it is a Chambal. Here it flows through Rajasthan. So known to be one of the cleanest and unpolluted river in India. So this uh, Chambul is unpolluted river of India. It is the cleanest and it supports the rich and flourishing wildlife. It is also a home to the diverse variety of marine animals. Means uh, in this water there is a lot of varieties of marine animals are living. Okay. So thank you. Hope you understand. For the MCQs, I have uploaded the another video. Before um, going to learn the MCQs, first learn where the um, rivers are present in India map. So it will be so easy to uh, learn and understand the concept. So thank you.